Hey, fourth grade math. Here we go. We're on page 121 and 122. We are learning about fractions again today, so I hope you're poniendo mucha atención. Okay, let's review something over here because this is actually going to help you a lot on your homework today. Proper and improper fractions. So remember, what is a proper fraction? Salma, do you remember? Okay, it's when the numerator is what? Smaller or bigger than the denominator? When the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Exactly. So give me one, let's see, there are three proper fractions. Three proper fractions right here on the board right now. Tell me one of them, Jayla. One third is one of them, okay, because one is less than three. Give me another one, Scarlet. Three fourths is one of them because three is less than four. And one more, Keanu. Five eighths. Okay, good, 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 good. Five eighths. Okay, now the other three, one, two, three, are improper fractions. Five over two, eight over eight, and ten over two. Why? Why are they improper fractions? Let's see, let's see who's going to help me out. Fernanda, why are they improper fractions? Because the numerator is bigger or equal to the numerator, the, pardon, the denominator. The numerator is bigger or equal to the denominator, okay? So, um, that means that they're improper. Okay, so if they are improper, here we go, let's put our circle around these, improper. We actually have to do something with them to make them proper. Because improper significa like inappropriada. You can't leave them like that in that forma. Okay, so here we go. What are we going to do? Well, the homework is going to help us today. Look at number one. Read as a division sentence and find the quotients. Today's lesson is going to teach us, guys, that yes, this little line right here forms a fraction, right? But guess what? it also forms a division sentence. So fractions mean division, okay? This is eight divided by eight, five divided by two, 10 divided by two. So this is 10 divided by five. What's your answer then, Sama? Two, 54 divided by nine. What's your answer, Jayla? Six, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. Fraction bars equal division symbols, okay? So, look at number two. Find the quotients. Quotients is your respuesta to the division. Write the remainders as a fraction. Okay, so here is the real way that you make proper fractions from improper fractions. We divide. 11 divided by two. Well, guys, I really don't feel like you need to do it on a piece of paper. I feel like you can do it in your head. Kiana, help me. 11 divided by two has what as an answer? Five, and what's your remainder? One, right? Because five times two equals 10, 11 minus 10 is one. So your answer is remainder one and two, because me and I, oops, let's divide. Two into 11. Two into 11 is five, five times two is 10, our remainder is one. What do I do with that remainder? I write it as a fraction. How do I write it as a fraction? One is my numerator, Two is my denominator. So there's your answer, five and a half. 11 over two, which is an improper fraction, really equals five and a half as a proper fraction. So let's look over here. Nine into 55. How many times can nine go into 55, Kiara? Six, six times nine is 54, so my remainder is one. One over what, Jayla? One over nine. So your answer is six and one ninth. But can you do that in your head? Of course you can, right? Nine into 54 is six times. 54, 55 minus 54 is one. So my remainder is one over nine. My denominator doesn't change. Okay? So go ahead and try letter C by yourself and I'm gonna tell you if you got the right answer. Letter C by yourself. Number two, letter C.
Okay, here we go. In your head, we can do this. 16 over five. Five goes into 16 how many times, Keanu? Three with a remainder of what? Well, three times five is 15, so 16 minus 15 is one. And what is my denominator sum? Five. So there's your answer, three and one fifth. Look at number three. Mark under the improper fractions. Okay, I just taught you improper fractions. There are six of them. Find the six improper fractions. And then guess what? The rest of the two pages you guys can do by yourself. You don't do number seven. Look at number seven. You don't do that because some of you don't have reglas, okay? But the rest of them you do by yourself. Look at number eight and the number eight and number nine F. You have to do the process you guys. I've taught it to you a bazillion quadrillion times. If you don't try, I can't help you. If you do try and get it wrong, I can help you because I can see what you need help on, okay? But if you don't try and you just put a number down, five, two, I don't really know what I'm doing, then I can't help you. I taught you the process, try it, and I'll tell you where you went wrong, okay? The rest of it is up to you. Make sure you try the word problem about Christopher Columbus. Okay, cool. By the way, my piece stuff for you is you don't need all those numbers. Those años, maybe you need them, maybe you don't. Read carefully. Bye, guys. Have a great day.